So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about tool fungus and any kind of fungus if you want it resolved. If you have tool fungus, you've had it for years and years and you've tried everything and nothing's working, pay attention because this can finally fix it. Um, share this, save this, uh, share it with somebody you care about because here lies the remedy. If you apply it, you get your remedy. Okay, so let's begin. Tool fungus is caused by many factors, but the primary ones you should be aware of and often misunderstood or ignored are the adrenal glands. Weak adrenal glands will cause sugar fermentation. This will attract candida. Okay, you essentially provides the environment for candida uh, or fungal overgrowth. Um, number two, poor lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is responsible for cleansing the cells of waste. When it's stagnant, it can cause mucus accumulation, among other things, and compromise the glands. This can cause your candida and your fungus. Um, weak kidneys. Kidneys are essential for cleansing the body of metabolic waste. When you have metabolic waste accumulating, it creates excess mucus and obstructions. This can set the ground for your candida. Okay, very important. The spleen. The spleen is important because it's involved in the transforming and the transportation of nutrients and fluids in the body. It also energizes the rest of the organs and glands. So you need strong spleen. More importantly, as when the spleen is compromised, it leads to dampness or mucus accumulation, which can cause your candida and your fungal overgrowth. So you fix the spleen. Okay, liver. Liver is the flow, is the flow storehouse of your chi or life force energy is also fantastic and needed because it uh, deals in um, chemical um, transmutation so among other things so you need strong liver among other things if it's compromised you're going to have problems with your candida or fungal overgrowth so um, stomach stomach is important because you need proper digestion you need the nutrients you need to also be able to clean out any waste from your system digestive waste you cannot have a compromised digestive system or compromised colon uh, of waste and hope to get rid of candida uh, you need to fix those, okay? And when I say candida, I mean two fungus, candida, or any kind of fungal overgrowth. So we use herbs for the spleen, the liver, the kidneys, the lymphatic system, okay? And essentially, we clean the whole body up, but we use herbs for those areas, and the adrenal glands, of course. We want to add in here formulas of, that will deal with the fungus. You want to use my anti-B formula, okay? I have put it in there the best plants for fungal problems, bacteria problems, and viruses as well. You also want to make use of my para remove formula. It's for worms. Over 120 different worms can be addressed with that formula. Um, you need a strong antibacterial, antifungal uh, uh, formula. And you got to use that for a good three to four months because always fungus, bacteria, etc., they can stay in the body for a long period of time. And you want to make sure that your cleanse or, or the use of the herbs are long, uh, long enough to get rid of them long term. Um, so we covered that. We covered the herbs. We covered the, um, the parts you got to address. The diet has got to be a fruit diet. Now, everywhere else you go, they say don't use fruit, stay away from sugars, your candida will get butt worse. Um, this is not simply not true. If you want to uh, stop eating sugars, if you follow the candida diet, then you for the rest of your life, you're always going to be suppressing and not healing the problem. And also, you always avoid sugars, which uh, life in general, because we, we are carbon beings, we need sugars. And most of the stuff we enjoy is sugar-based. So it makes no sense to de deny ourselves the sugar. So um, a high fruit diet, a mono fruit diet, like grapes, berries, and melons, because they are simple to digest and um, they, they don't take too much time to process. So when you are dealing with candida, you don't want to eat fat, fats. You don't eat proteins because these are complex chemistry and it creates, it makes things a lot worse. You can eat a lot worse. When you go on the fruit only cleanse, you see flare ups. But once the flare ups go away, you're going to have your remedy. Okay, that's how simple it is. So I've covered the fruit side. I know it goes against everything you have read, or but remember that everything you have read is based on treating the issue. I'm not dealing with treating here at all. I'm dealing with addressing the root cause and getting rid of the problem to begin with. Okay, that's the difference. Okay, so we've covered the herbs, we've covered the diet. And uh, now therapeutics, make sure you sweat a lot. Make sure that you walk, take walks in nature. And please make sure that you allow proper energy flow in the body. So you need to do Qigong and Tai Chi. Um, these uh, yoga, these are not ancient uh, remedies for a reason. They have been there since the beginning of time, so-called, because they work. They're not outdated. They're more than relevant. And they contain secrets that if you are smart enough, you would pay attention to. Tai Chi, Qigong... Um, and um, yoga, they open up the pathways of energy flow. And this is essential for vitality in the human body. Without energy flow, you can't perform properly. You start to get ill. So make use of those. Even if it's five, ten minutes a day, is more than enough. And it, it, when you're consistent like that way, you're going to get your remedy. Okay? 
So you want to sweat a lot. I mentioned that. You want to um, embrace nature, ground, walk barefoot. Um, you want to make use of uh, any avenue of embracing in, in nature. So hug a tree, swim in ocean and lakes, watch a waterfall, listen to the sounds of nature. Um, basically, embrace nature. If you do so, you, that gets rid of a lot of inflammation, helps you repair the organ and glands, and you get your remedy quicker. Okay, so I've covered all of that now. Let's get to addressing the candida, uh, the toe fungus, okay, externally at least, because everything in here is internal. The toe fungus is internal, even though it appears on your toes only, it's actually in your blood, it's internal. That's why they give you uh, stuff like lamellar cell, etc., because they, they know it's internal. You got to get it from in, in, internal. So the antibacterial herbs I mentioned, the formulas will help you in that regard, but we can, we can address it externally. You want to cut your nails nicely, um, and then put your, your toes and your feet into a, a foot bath with um, ACV, okay? You dilute it, of course, and you allow it to sit there for 10, 15, 20 minutes so it can penetrate. You can also um, apply tea tree oil on it. You can use my antimicrobial oil once you've done the ACV treatment because it's moisturizing and also it has antimicrobial herbs in there to help address it. Um, and here's another technique you can use that always seems to work. Um, it's, it's, it involves using DMSO, um, with 2% Lugols, which is iodine. And you're going to take 50%, dilute the DMSO to 50%, and you're going to add a few drops of your iodine into the solution. Um, and you're going to take a Q-tip and, and apply it, uh, dip it in there and apply it onto the nail bed um, on top of the nail, um, around the open openings of the nail, and allow it to sit for a few, a few minutes. And then um, make sure that when you're done, you up, you clean, cleanse it, and you can also apply my antimicrobial oil to moisturize because DMSO is very um, drying. But DMSO, what it does is that it takes whatever you combine it with and it pushes it into the body in in, in a very um, unique way. So therefore, when when you put the lugols in there, which is antibacterial, antifungal, it carries it and puts it into the, in the nail bed and gets rid of it for you there. So you're doing internal cleansing and the external cleansing with the DMSO and the Lugols. Uh, if you do all that, okay, and give it a little bit of time, you will get rid of the toe fungus once and for all. Please be warned, toe fungus is deep. Fungal problems are deep. A candida is deep. It can take months. It can, not to say it will. It can take months. I, I like to give a time frame of four to six months in general, although it can go far sooner than that. If you do all that, you get rid of your toe fungus, even though it's been there for... 20 25 years whatever it is you get rid of it and you get nice healthy nails growing back that's simple folks it's all under your control now you have the knowledge you have the power make sure you save this make sure you download it make sure you share it and get your remedy once and for all